Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy bite into a thunderbolt, unwanted party crashes screaming to your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona to rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates up the walls of your emptiness. Oh. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. <laughs> okay, one more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities. It was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yeah. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of cool, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, crawl, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. And no one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped on this path leading nowhere. Into just emptiness. Now, now you feel like you've got someone by your side to share the journey with you. And how does that make you feel? I feel a drift. Floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. 
free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Holly, you got one now. anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. The story back at the precinct. What's he back? Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe Sounds it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. So I take it you won't be testing it, then? It's called field testing, Alfred. <clears throat> Master Bruce, stop! Master Bruce, Bruce, you... I will not in good conscience allow you to go! You're outmatched by these assassins! I'm what? You're not some hardened vigilante! You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head, and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. be! No, not but... may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will be my end. But it will be theirs. I trust you realize you can't just 
tell me everything that's happened there tonight. I know I can't do that. I'll have to find a way in to look at the Indeed. Now look, I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. It's just because... It's okay. I understand. Blue grenade can stop the steam here.
It's not Bane, but one of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. before I lose the signal again. Bane? 
Zane gave him other orders. Concern yourself only with the... Very well. I only... Do you think he will pick any more volunteers for the trial? I cannot say. Are you on the list? I am far in line. Good luck to you, mi hermano. Hopefully the formula will be perfected by the time it comes to you. My life is pains to command. It will be an honor to lay it down for his cause. And I pray you do not freeze before you get your turn. of only somewhere down that tunnel. to make a raft.
you! This will not save you! I am trapped! Duck! No! Your tricks are bad! Tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Impressive work, but it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on Some of this research is dedicated to overcoming his own addiction and dependency on Venom. He can't survive without it.